You can add different comments in your student submissions by clicking anywhere in the text to open the marking tools. The T allows you to leave text comments within the text. The second option available allows you to leave bubble comments. By adding the text this way, I can have a much larger amount of text hidden behind an icon. Here, I can add simple formatting and I can also add links to resources. These comments are automatically saved, but we can delete them at any time by hovering over them. You can also associate a bubble comment to a specific part of the text by selecting it, clicking on the second option, adding your comment, and from here, you can even change the color and any other specification. On the right side of our paper, we can also see our feedback summary option. By clicking here, we can record the voice comment, select it, stop it, and save it. Or we can add a text comment. This allows me to give more general feedback to my student's paper. Here again, I can add simple formatting or add a link. 